Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on the Vermabag Max. Now, this is not going to be a feeding update because we just fed about 13 days ago, and it's, they're probably not done that massive feeding of food yet. But I have had an issue with fruit flies in this bin, and I've been trying to get rid of it. I keep a fruit fly, fruit fly trap in there. I have, you know, vacuumed up the fruit flies every time I open it. I've tried diatomaceous earth. I've tried loading it up with, you know, a, a huge layer of paper on top to try to prevent the fruit flies from getting out. Nothing's really worked in this system as it has in some of my other systems. So I'm going to try something a little bit different. Now I have tried this right here also in some of my systems and this did work a little bit but not great and that was neem oil. So this time though one of my followers here mentioned in the comments that I should try a mixture and I have it here of neem cake and dolomite. So we're going to mix these two together, we're going to add this to the system, and then in like a week we're going to come back and take another look at the system and see how it's doing and see if these fruit flies are gone. Now I just opened it up just before and I did my vacuuming to vacuum up fruit flies. I still have the fruit fly trap in there. So it's going to be hard to say that this is definitively working, but if we take out that fruit fly trap and the numbers still diminish, these have to be doing something at that point because they would probably start to repopulate if those adults are not going into those fruit fly trap and getting killed that way. So first thing first, we're going to show, I'm going to mix this up in a container. By the way, when I'm doing that, let me just show you here, I will be wearing my N95, okay? When you're working with any type of dust or anything like that, make sure you're wearing a mask of some sort. You shouldn't get this stuff in your lungs. It's really bad for you and can do a lot of damage to your lungs, okay? So masks on for this. So with that, let's go take a look and let's start the mixing of these two products together to add to the, to sprinkle on top of the uh, bag. All right, so here we are, my mask is on. I've got the bags right here. I know this is a very large bag. It's 2.25 kilograms, so that's pretty big. And this one's a much smaller bag, but we're gonna just mix a little bit of these together. So we're gonna open this up and I've got a container right here. I can just sort of mix them in a little bit. And we're gonna add a lot more of the neem cake than we are of the dolomite dust. And as you can see, it's already starting to come out a little bit. So we're gonna be very careful here. As I said, I'm wearing a mask for this. I highly recommend when working with this stuff, you wear masks. More than that, we're gonna make a little bit of a batch here. All right, there we go. We got our dolomite dust in. I'm not measuring this. You know, if, you, if somebody has exact measurements for what you should use, that's great. I don't believe in stuff that you're just trying to do on the side, measuring. I feel like that should be done only in scientific experiments or baking where it's exact ingredients, otherwise you can mess things up. This one should not, I shouldn't be able to add too much or too little maybe for this. Now for this, there's a lot of neem cake in here. I don't know if you can see in there or not. But this we're gonna put in quite a bit. This looks a little bit thicker. This has a little bit of an earthy odor to it. I can smell it through the mask a little bit. But it's not bad. Um, the bottle of neem oil that I had smelled like, um, basically like, I want to say a baby's diaper after it went in it. So it smelled absolutely horrible. And I would not recommend using the neem oil that I bought originally. In fact, even if it worked, I don't even know if I'd use it because it would just smell so bad. I can't seem to reclose this bag. There we go. I think that, no, maybe not. Okay. Either way. Now what I need to do is I do need to mix this up. So I'm going to grab a second container here because I can't find the lid to this. I'm just going to pour this in another container right now. And this is just going to mix everything up as it goes from container to container. And if I get some on the table, it's okay. But this is the idea is to just sort of mix this up a little bit before we put it in the system. I can vacuum the rest of that up later. That's okay. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna grab my glove here so I don't get this all over my hands. I'm just gonna go mix this up with my glove. It'd be a lot easier, I think. If I had my, if I had the lid to this, I, which I thought I had over to the side, I could shake it and mix it up that way, but. So there we go, this is mixed up. And we're gonna sprinkle this all over the system. So hopefully you can see that. By the way, all these plastic containers, I do reuse a lot of stuff. I hate buying used things if I don't have to, but I think this is mixed up well enough. You can see that it's 
white pretty good. It's actually more white than you expect because the dolomite really just kind of cancels out that brown neem cake. But now we're going to go ahead and add this to the bin. We're going to sprinkle it all over the surface. And then we'll take out the fruit fly trap we have in there. We'll put that off to the side. And we'll see how this does in a, you know probably a week or two when we come in to feed. We'll see how it's doing. So let's go and take a look at the bag now. All right, here we are with the bag. And just so you know, I will have an Amazon store with links set up to purchase all these things. I'm going to stop using the links down below because of the fact that I already see fruit flies coming out of here. And this thing actually has quite a few, but I'm going to stop using the Amazon store that I had because some of the products that I was linking to disappear or they change and then it's not the same as what it was. So first off, we'll just take this off. Just take a quick look in here. We're not going to dig up fruit flies coming up the sides over here. So I'm really hoping that this will help control that population. Moisture content looks a little bit low maybe for this. There's not much moisture on here, but I think that's okay for now. We'll come back in a week or two and add some more stuff. So now we're gonna sprinkle this on top, all over here. By the way, I'm still wearing my mask. I don't know if this is good for the worms or not, but There we go. So, this is now in the system. I don't know whether I should uh, wet it or not, so I think I'm just gonna leave it like this on top and let it dry out. The worms can dig down. We will put our cover back on here. I am gonna line this up the way it was before, which I think was this way, because I see more fruit flies coming out over here. So, I do have a trap in here that'll kill them, so I'm not too worried about them, but I don't want a whole lot coming out. So we're going to see how this does in here. We're going to come back in a, in a week or two, and we'll see how the fruit fly count is, or if there's just if they're swarming out of here or not. Since there's no trap in there now, I'm keeping this trap out. So hopefully this will trap the ones that just flew into my basement, but I'm going to keep the trap out. We'll keep it here on this corner, and we'll let this sit for about a week and then we'll check on it. We'll see how it's doing. It should be by that point that the uh, they should hopefully sink in and the worms will kind of turn that into the soil a little bit. And we'll see how it looks at that point. And if there's a lot of fruit flies coming out, we'll give it another like couple weeks and we'll maybe we'll add some more then. But we'll give it like a month or two and see if this gets work, this actually works to get rid of these, uh, these fruit flies in here. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And let me know what you think, and let me know what you think of these products as well, whether you think this will work or not. You know, give me a yes or no. Maybe I'll see if I can throw a poll up there, but we'll see. All right, thank you for watching.